Perry County Law Enforcement Authority has agreed to extend the project management company for the county's new jail project. That's in spite of months of delays and public complaints of conflicts of interest. One member of the public questioned why the son of the authority's chairman is also an employee of the owner's representative company who's involved in day-to-day -day operations at the construction site, which is behind schedule. KTIV's Matt Hoffman reports. Tensions ran high Tuesday afternoon as members of the public expressed their frustration about delays, conflicts of interest, and rising costs at the site of what will become Woodbury County's new jail complex. Despite the issues, the authority approved an extension to keep the Baker Group on as the owner's representative, increasing their monthly fee from $23,000 to $34,000. We do not believe that should be dumped back on the people of Woodbury County, on the taxpayers of Woodbury County. It's caused by errors that were made by people in the business, and we intend to hold them responsible. The project has been delayed seven months because fire dampers meant to control the spread of fire were not included in the original plans and thus not installed. On Tuesday, a representative of the Baker Group said an elevator control room was also not installed and the building wouldn't pass inspection in its current state. Owner's rep uh, is not responsible for that. Our owner's rep is there to watch the project and watch the progress of the project and make certain that it's done correctly. And they're doing that on a day-by-day -day basis. Tempers also flared when members of the public called into question the employment of Todd Wick the authority chairman's son. You're spending Sheriff's money department. out of state. Sheriff's department. Sheriff's A spokesperson for the Baker Group confirmed Todd Wick is working as a manager at the site, raising conflict of interest concerns. He, he has a history with law enforcement, which provides a lot of support for Baker Group. He is Baker Group's eyes on the site on a day-to-day -day basis. All three authority members agreed they had to retain the current owner's representative, otherwise the project would be delayed even further. In Sioux City, Matt Offman, KTIV News 4. The authority didn't give an update on when the new law enforcement center complex might open. The contractor, Houseman Construction, maintains the building won't be open until next April. Authority members reiterated they don't agree with that timeline, but they didn't provide a new opening date.